All right. I think we should have sound now. Uh, walk steady if you're still in the chat. Just let me know if you can hear me now. <laughs> uh, then we'll get started. Basically just want to play some quick too many bones here before dinner. Just going to do some live streaming. I don't know what tyrant to pick though. So I'll let you guys do that for me. Let's see. Here's the other one. Uh, hi folks, first time catching one of these live. Diane Mountford, thanks for joining us. Can you hear me? Just let me know in the chat if any of you guys can hear me and then I'll get started. I mean, it looks okay on my end, but YouTube's kind of saying that there's some audio bitrate thing going on. Yes, thank you, Diane, thank you. Okay, all right, let me just adjust here. Doing it live, always fun. <laughs> Technical problems every time. All right, so uh, we're gonna pick a tyrant. Uh, I just wanna play Nugget solo. Basically, that's all I wanna do. I'm in the mood for it. I figured let's do it live. Let's have some fun with it. Uh, you guys can uh, help me correct some mistakes, you know, give me some strategy tips, that kind of stuff, or ask questions, follow along, play along, help me make decisions, whatever you wanna do. But first decision we're gonna do is what tyrant? I only have too many bones core set. I have Age of Tyranny. I have Nugget and Gilly. Um, so we can only choose between these, the basic, uh, tyrants, which I will switch the screen so you guys can see those. So I just have the core set tyrants. Let me know in the chat, whatever you guys want. Uh, obviously there's different lengths, different body types, different, uh, different difficulty levels, I'm sure. Uh, so we got Drellin, Gendrix, Goblin King, Malmesh, Nom, Duster, Morrow. Any, any any selection, anybody know? No, no one's gonna pick. Do we want a shorter one? Do we want a longer one? More difficult. I'm feeling Morrow. He's a long one, but I don't think I've ever played against him before. Go random. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, we have seven to choose from. Uh, is, there, <laughs> is there a way with the die? I mean, we have a six-sided die. Okay, you know what? Let's just eliminate Nom from the picking. He's like super short. Let's not let's not do Nom. Let's just take Nom out of it. Okay, so let's line them up. Let's shuffle them up actually. Shuffle them up and then we will lay them down. I've seen Nom and Duster. Any of the others? Okay. All right. Well, we'll see. Hopefully we get a different one. But I like the random comment. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, let's do it. We got a three. Uh, it's a Goblin King. That's who we're taking. Goblin King it is. Poisoning. Is this a poisoning jerk? No. All right. We'll check him out. We'll see what he is. All right. I think I'm thinking of Drellin. Oh, yeah. So I can throw that out of the way. All right. So let's grab his cards and then we'll investigate what he's all about. Uh, this is only my third time playing Nugget. I played him once in a two-player live playthrough last Sunday with my wife. Uh, where you can check that out on the channel, that's there. And then I played it once off camera just to kind of figure out what she was all about. Um, so let's get, where is this guy's cards? He only has, oh, he's two. Goblin King, okay. There's his Tyrant Encounters, so let's get him set up here. And for those that are new to Too Many Bones, feel free to ask questions. We'll figure it out as we go along. But what you do is you pick the Tyrant, which I'm doing now. I kind of pick my gear lock first, but technically you grab a tyrant and you kind of investigate them and you kind of decide what gear lock you're going to grab and what skills you go with and whatnot. But I want to play Nugget, so we're going to do that no matter what. Uh, Sir Matt, thank you for the sub. Much appreciated. Uh, all right, so the Goblin King. Uh, unpredictable in nature, the Goblin King has held tight control over the War Spire region through sheer terror. His followers are extremely loyal and no one dares fall out of line for fear of getting a bomb in the back. Uh, so we need eight progress points before we can even challenge him. Uh, we're at zero, obviously. Uh, and we have 12 days to take him down. So once you hit eight progress, and that could happen in eight days, could happen in seven days, could happen in like 10 days, who knows? Uh, hopefully we get eight progress. Uh, and then you can challenge them. And then you have to, you can do then as many times as you want, retry the tyrant over and over again. Uh, but the days keep progressing, but you have 12 days. Once it tries to go to day 13, and if he's not destroyed, you lose um, or obviously if you don't get your eight progress and 12 days have happened you can lose that way too uh, all right so the game length is four out of six uh, so you get an idea there I guess it's the eight progress 12 days kind of comes out to the math of four uh, so here's our baddie types we got to set up 
Uh, let's check out what he's all about. So in the Battle of Game of Thrones, you set up an Iron Throne. Iron Throne. A throne. Uh, on lane 1 range position using lane 1 marker and 3 HP. Then you place the Goblin King on top of that. Basically is his throne. EQ is fatty points. Party 1 ignores this, so we don't do a battle queue. Uh, throne will only take damage from adjacent opposing units and must be destroyed before the Goblin King can lose HP. So he's like, he's sitting on this throne that keeps him invincible, basically. The Goblin King's defense does not apply to the throne. The Goblin King cannot damage himself. The reason why they're saying that is because... Let's find this guy. Uh, where is he? Right here. Okay, we can get rid of these tyrants off this side. Uh, so basically the Goblin King has Boom and Kaboom is his backup plan. So if he rolls dice and misses... So on these attack and defense dice, for example, there's Bones. And that's like a miss. That's like, you, you suck. But in this game, too many bones, you get to use those bones in a backup plan. So if he rolls a bone on his attack dice, which he rolls two attack, three defense, he can do this Kaboom ability, which... Uh, Kaboom blasts all gear locks to positions farthest from the Goblin King. So as you're trying to attack him, hurt his throne in that, eventually he'll roll his dice and he'll blow you back. So he's a bombs expert guy. And this happens uh, before applying damage. Okay. Uh... Any damage dealt by the Goblin King is also done to units. Uh, oh, this boom. Any damage dealt by the Goblin King is also done to units adjacent to its target for half damage rounded down. Okay, so that's any units, not just uh, good, also the, the bad guys too. But I think it's just him anyway we're fighting because we don't put any baddies in the queue. So it's only us in solo, I guess. Uh, tyrant die. So on his Tyrant die which we have here. Uh, he's got this little horn on four sides out of six. And it says, call for help. Ah, here's how we get the baddies. Uh, it's all coming back now. It's been a while. It's been a while since I played this guy. Uh, add a baddie to the bottom of the battle queue. Uh, party of one to two, we add a one point baddie. Okay, so he can call in for help. He'll bring in one point baddies into the battle. And then he has careless bomb three on two sides, uh, which, Deals three damage to the strongest baddie and all adjacent units. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So we'll see. Uh, so that's what we have to look forward to if we make it to him. Uh, so we'll just throw that over here. Uh, we need to get to eight progress. I think that's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he goes up here. Throws die there with him. And then uh, we want to... I guess we'll set up the baddies. Might as well do that. Um, let's get all the 20 pointers out of here. So 20 pointers we need. There's the baddie types we need. Yellow, red, green, and purple. Not the teal. Uh, oops, not the teal. Purple this way. Uh, green and purple. Okay, so we'll do a little shuffle them up here. And we'll just throw them in the 20 point slot over here. These are some ones. So these guys we'll just throw out of the way. Uh, okay, so we got some fives and ones mixed up here. Let's figure this out. One, five, five. So all the fives. Okay. And I got some ones, fives. And fives. Okay, so ones I believe are all these here. Just double check quickly. Oops. So many chips. I love it. All right. And okay, so that's all the ones there. Okay, so let's get these set up. So uh, we don't need blue. Don't need blue. Uh, red. Yes. And yellow, yep. Green, yep. Poisoning jerks. Teal, no. No. Yellow, blue, no. Purple, green, yep. Purple, purple, green, yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, red, yep. Yellow, yellow, and teal. All right, so these are our five pointers. So we'll throw these guys off to the side. Like how we don't have to fight the dragons. Okay, that's our five pointers. And now let's get these guys set up. So green, green, yep. Yellow, blue, nope. Red, yep. Uh, purple, blue, 
Blue, blue, teal, yellow. Come on. That was a super entertaining live stream here. Setting up my <laughs> setting up my queue. Uh, I was gonna pick beforehand, but then I thought, ah, I'll have some fun with it and just kind of pick it on the fly here. Uh, try to edit this out later. Um, okay, purple, teal, and green. Okay, I think we're good. Let's just double check in here. Make sure nobody escapes the queue that shouldn't. And let's just make sure nobody got in the queue that shouldn't. One time I had a little troll or uh, an orc sneak in. And that's when I realized what my, my ability to see color is maybe not as good as I thought. Okay, I think we're good. So let's just make a mess here. Okay. All right. Uh, now let's set up the the uh, encounter deck. So I got the solo encounters here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So what you do is you look at the days, twelve days. You subtract three from that, so I need nine. One. Uh, let me shuffle them up a bit first. So we need nine of these encounters, and then what we'll do is shuffle his encounters in there, and then we'll cover them up with. Where did I put that card? So there's a. Ah, uh, this card. So we're just going to do day one, two, and three that are normal. We'll just throw them here for now. And so we'll shuffle these. I don't have them memorized. I don't know what's on the other side anyway, but uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, the rest we'll just throw over. Actually, we'll throw them in this box here. Okay. Uh, and then we'll shuffle these in. And we'll do this without looking. Let's uh, put that there so I can grab it while I'm not looking. So we'll just kind of mash them together here. Okay, uh, I think that's it. Is it covered? Yes, all right, we did it. So I'll throw that in there. Uh, and then these one, two, and three, uh, we'll just keep one out, throw two and three, yep back in there. All right, so this is going to be the first one. Uh, Goblin King, you can go way over here. Uh, anything else she needs? She needs a so nugget. I need to set up almost throughout this last time. The Slingstone die. Uh, so basically on a reference sheet here, any any little she has all these cool dice, all these skill dice here. Uh, and the ones in the stars you need to unlock before you can open some of the other ones. Uh, but the one with the circle on it here, sling stones, that needs to be on here as a counter so she can turn her attack dice into range dice. Uh, at least that's the plan. And I think we're good there. And we're going to do the medium difficulty. Uh, so I will take one extra health. Uh, so she goes up to five. I should probably set up my chips for the slots. So there's these uh, good old Amazon weighted chips until I can get a hold of some premium health chips. And we got it there, her health. Uh, and then she gets one free skill, three decks. Um, I don't know, I guess we'll just crank her decks. Uh, actually, let's try an attack. Uh, two dice. Uh, and we got it. So she will get one attack. You know what? I want to use a dice tray. So let's slide this over to where we don't care. Okay. And then let's see over our baddies here. And let's do actually. Uh, there we go. Okay. All right, uh, we can throw this over this way. I think, anything else? So we can set up our dice for our initiative baddies, our baddie initiative dice. And we need our round marker, of course. And, oh, 
Jerome, you're asking that tough question. Uh, oh, why is my camera froze? Let me figure that out. Uh, one sec, I'll be right back. Uh, there we go. You guys still here? Thanks for anyone who's waiting, I'm so sorry. And Jerome, if you're still there, uh, I can't answer that question right now. I just said it actually, the Cloud Spire I played today and recorded. Uh, <laughs> Yanni, hello, how's it going? Uh, but before the stream went down there, I was asked, do I prefer too many bones above Cloud Spire? Uh, yeah, I was, you also asked me in a comment before, which one would I rather play solo? Which one I think is a better solo game? I can't answer that yet. I haven't played, I still, like, I played lots of too many bones, but I feel Cloud Spire I still need to play more of um to get a real feel for it especially with all the factions i haven't played all the factions yet i've only actually played brawn in until today it was the first time i played airs so i can't judge it yet i'll wait till i'm a little further before i can kind of give my answers to those kind of questions but too many bones i think if i had to choose one completely just for game to game including all the modes in there um if you're just talking core set to core set I would personally pick too many bones and the reason why I like fantasy I mean they're both fantasy but I like I like fantasy like RPG ish kind of like you know sword shield Zelda Dark Souls those kind of video games and stuff so uh, too many bones kind of up my alley for that I love I like the dice rolling with it a little bit of randomness but it, you know it's it's still I like the game better but Cloud Spire that's a whole different beast it's hard to compare the two uh, but if I had only choose one I think it'd be too many bones core set uh, versus Cloud Spire, but man, they're both packed full of game, like so much game in both of them. Um, all right, so I think we're good to go and continue on here. Uh, let me just check everything on my end here. Yeah, solo wise, they're both so different. Apples and oranges, like I, I, I answered my video I record this morning for you. Uh, yeah, apples and oranges, so hard to compare. But both are awesome. Both I will play any day of the week, like they're both so good. Cloud Spire still wrapped my head around a lot of the rules and stuff, but I had the same issues when I started this thing too, with so many of uh, the um, baddie skills and stuff. It was like trying to remember all these so that I had a nice smooth playthrough. I've still, I'm getting better with Cloud Spire, but yeah, it, it, they're both so deep. They have a, like a steep learning curve to them, right? And a lot of memorization of abilities. Okay, I just need to get this thing on the other screen. Which, how do I, okay. To get it back set up here to reboot so uh all right looks good there get the rule book up on the screen in case we need to search anything up okay let's just check that out nope yep there it is okay that's good that's good all right so i think we should be good okay so we're setting this up i got my my one extra health so five health uh, I got, just got my two attack uh, that I passed my test on. So that is, we're set up with our heroic adventurer mode, our medium difficulty. Um, okay, so uh, shuffle some loot, I guess. Make sure that's nice and shuffle. I shuffle already a bit before the stream, but you know. Yeah, no. Can I ever shuffle it enough, I guess? All right, whatever. Let's just cut it there. Okay, trove loot, same business. Okay, let's just do that one. Okay, uh, all right, day one, where to go? Well, let's do it. So we're not even gonna read it. It's the same day one and three, one, two, and three that are in the core set. Just for speed's sake, I'm gonna skip them. Just go to the back. I won't read any of the story. Uh, yeah, read it every time we play. So we're gonna do. Uh, nugget and extra loot is a thing, but I'll do the two training points. I like to do that. So. We're going to do Nuggets a Long Blade, which is like an attack die that never misses. Instead of a Bones on one of the sides like an attack die, it just has another one attack. And it's reusable, so the skill does not get exhausted like normal. So we'll throw that there. So now on my Dex is what I'm going to use for the other one, so that I can roll all those dice together for now. So my three attack, one defense uh, at least, and I can throw this in when I don't need to roll defense is the idea to start here. Um, so that's that, and one progress. So we're on our way to the boss, we've got a progress. 
And that lines up with the little gear symbol on here. For those that are unaware. Okay. Okay. Day two. Oh, recovery phase. I don't need to heal, obviously. That's scout. So I rolled a one. And a one to three lets me scout up to a one point baddie. So I'll do that. And I get to check them out. Uh, thick skin, one. Careless, troll, brute. Tax for one. Defense of one. Three health only. Yeah, he's not too scary. Let's throw him. Let's throw him up front. Okay. On to day two. So the day counter is going to move over here, which you can't see. It's got some glare on it. Damn studio lights. All right. Okay. Uh, day two. And I need to see the chat on the screen, which is not there right now. I'm sorry, guys. One sec. There we are. Okay. All right. Uh, so this one is the battle, basically, day two. Uh, so you can either do the easy peasy one where every uh, round the bad guys will get a true damage. Kind of makes it easier for you when you're learning. Recommended for first time adventurers. But instead we're going to go full battle queue baddie points. And the whole deal here is um, after either choice is lost. So if you lose this battle, this goes back on top of the encounter deck. And you have to keep playing it over until you win. Uh, so let's set that up. So we're going to go for the second option because we also could get an extra training point on top of loot. Um, so we're going to throw that down there and we'll create our queue. So it's day two, one gear lock. That's two points. So that can be used by two one point baddies. We know the first one. And we're going to throw that guy out there. And he gets three health. Uh, where's my health? So three health for this guy. Lane one melee. Okay. The second guy going in lane two is a Griffin yearling has flight. So after he attacks, it's going to fly in the air. And become untargetable every other round. Super annoying. Uh, two health. Okay. He will go in the melee position also. All right. Uh, and we are going to roll our initiative die. And it's a three. Uh, so, oops. I should have done theirs first. What was I doing? Uh, so, at one, uh, this guy is going to go down here really slow. And then a five for the other guy. On the, what am I doing? Purple die. Five, and then I would have rolled, got a three, and I go between them. So let's just put these near their color so I know. And I guess we can throw nuggets. Sheet over here. Okay. All right. So uh, I will start. So I'm a melee ranged gear lock, so that means I can start in any of these gray spots down here. Um, I won't be able to attack this guy for a seal attack for two. Is there a place I can go where he won't attack me? Yes, there is right here. So he would just move, wouldn't attack. Then I could move in on him and attack him. Because he doesn't do flight unless he attacks. And then I'm okay if this guy moves up and tries to hit me after. That's fine. I mean, I'll be near him probably, so. Or maybe not. Alright, well, let's just do it this way. This guy will go. Five. One, two. Okay. Can't attack. Can only move two. Uh, I'll go. Uh, I will. Let's just move one. So that leaves me with three decks left. And I will. Let's just roll two attack and we'll roll one defense for the three decks. And of course, I get no defense out of it, but I do get three attack. Uh, but he only needs two to die. So we kill this guy. And he will go to the defeated queue. And he'll come out of the any meter there. All right. That was good. Uh, then this one pointer is going to come down one. Uh, and he will one attack, one defense on me. And he gets a defense and attacks me for one. Oh, I forgot my bones and my backup plan. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Uh, now, uh, round two. So I'll go first. Um, I don't want to do this. Let's roll three attack. Oh, well, a uh, long blade, two attack, and one defense. Uh, so we got another bone. 
And we got three attack total, thick skin and the defense dial block two of that. So one gets through, he goes down to two health left. Right. Um, another live one, yay. Hey George, how's it going? Day two, yes, we're just on day two. Uh, and no assists from the guards, yep. And Nugget, I'm just playing solo with Nugget, just trying out Nugget, uh, let the chat decide who we were playing against. Uh, so we did it randomly, uh, was the first suggestion, so I we went with that. And we got the Goblin King as our tyrant. Um, I'm playing on Heroic Adventure, uh, taking the one health and the one skill point to start, as you know I usually do. Um, and yeah, and that's all I guess really. Uh, all right, <laughs> good to have you here. <laughs> all right, so I uh, dealt the damage, and I get a defense. Uh, do I revitalize? No. Maybe I'll collect a stone actually uh, for one. Long blade back. Uh, this guy will go one attack, one defense on me. Uh, this should slide over. Uh, so he gets another defense die and a one attack on me. Uh, but that gets blocked duh, off the shield. Okay, round three. I'll go first. Um, Let's roll two attack, long blade, one defense. Uh, so get a bone. Uh, three attack. Uh, I should do backup plan first, because three attack, oh no, three attack won't take him out. Because uh, of thick skin, defense, and then one hit through. So this guy lives one more, at least. That will go there. Uh, did I get a bone? I don't think. Shoot, what a roll on that defense side. Anyone see that? Did I get the defense or did I get a bone? I think I got a defense there. Or no, what am I doing? Is it his turn? I'm so lost. No, that was just me hitting him. I think I got a defense. I'm not sure. But I'll put it there. I'm pretty sure. Or was it a bone? Anyways, I want to do... Oh, no, it was a bone, wasn't it? Yes, it was a bone. Defense. So lost. <laughs> I think it was a defense. Yeah, guys, it's your favorite gear lock for solo play minus Gilly. You rolled a bone and put it in the backup plan. But uh, yes. Okay, thank you. Oh man, I have a pile of dice over here, and it like confused me. They all had shields on them. I was like, which one was the defense I just rolled? Uh, okay. So on the backup plan, I will just pop for another stone. Okay. There we go. All right. So he will go, one attack, one defense. Uh, gets a defense again, look at this guy. Uh, no defense, so I go down to three health. Okay, uh, that comes out. Then four is the round. I'll go first. Well, let's do the same thing. One defense, two attack, and one long blade. Uh, okay, there we go. Let's put our defense in there right now, so we don't forget. Uh, it's definitely enough to kill him. It's four attack, uh, but I will pop this bone uh, to get another stone before we leave the battle. Then I will kill him, and he is gone. Uh, we'll go here. I'll come out. Reset to round one. He died back. She'll come back with three health. Okay. Yeah, George is on more an advanced level. He plays with, he doesn't play solo with, he doesn't play true solo. Solo is like with one gear lock, then you use the solo scenarios, solo encounters. Uh, he does multiple, which, I mean, I'll get to eventually, I think. But I just like trying this solo, true solo out. Uh, it's kind of fun. And it's easier to stream and keep track of one gear lock, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so that is that. I'll lose this die, we'll come out. All right. So, uh, two training points, a loot. So let's do our progress. Uh, loot, she gets two loot, and gets to pick one. Skinning knife or flare distraction. Before facing a battle encounter with bad EQ, bad points, reduce it by three. I've used skinning knife before, it's cool. Mm, let's just use flare distraction. So we can modify the Q. Uh, so two training points. We're definitely going, let's go with Dex. 
and mm, I do the tinkered bolo now or nuggets dagger I think or a health maybe a health play it safe yeah let's do a health for now okay um, okay got all our stuff off this got our prizes uh, recovery phase I will heal up to six two more health okay um, then uh, day three okay so normal day three we'll just rush through the first three days here uh, so we'll try the you tuck your ears and walk like a commoner so we'll roll a d6 on a one to two we bit, we're spotted then we go grab the next tyrant encounter put it on the top um, we get success no matter what on that one we get a progress and we get a training point versus a trove loot if we hire the Molnor, which puts a special encounter card in there but I'm gonna go for the tuck your ears and hope I don't roll a one to two a six all right that is good so we'll get two progress off this one one two so we're halfway there to fighting the Goblin King um, and then a training point uh, Tinker Bolo time I think I think no let's do the dagger let's go the dagger I like the dagger uh, all right I think we're good there uh, recovery phase I don't need to heal I'm gonna scout could chuck the loot and yeah, let's scout. Uh, so a three so I can look at a one-pointer troll young and careless one attack one defense four health yeah he's good to stay on the top all right so on to day four let's see what we get hidden under here what we get what goes around how unusual up ahead I can make out a group of raiders robbing a lone Molnar trader Molnar always have amazing goods usually belonging to others <laughs> the original owners of those goods are typically the ones who need rescuing seems the boot is on the other foot for a change uh, helping a black market trader seems wrong but I also despise raiders I could let the dust settle before picking off any stragglers, maximizing my spoils. And yet, it would be nice to have the Molnar owing me for a change. Boom. All right. Choice one, battle. Choice two, battle. Uh, I can get some loot up here. Two uh, loot. And I would assume for each one of those, Nugget would get an extra loot for her innate. Whenever Nugget draws a loot as an encounter reward, draw an extra and discard one. Yeah, I'm assuming I get to do that twice on that one. Um, so let him deal with the Molnor, then attack. So battle queue would be baddie points. Add a five-point baddie at the top of battle queue. All baddies start with two fewer HP. Or defend him. Battle queue is baddie points. Add a five-point baddie to the top of battle queue. Same. Uh, place four HP on a gearlock melee position on the battle mat. That's your trader. Trader is friendly under your control. A melee unit with two move and two attack. And it takes its turn right after you. To succeed in counter, trader must survive. Oh man, if successful, remove special encounter Molnar traders from this adventure. Ah, so if you took it, there's a way to get rid of it. That's kind of cool. I'm going to go with the first one though. I don't want to babysit this guy. And I don't care. I know I should care about Troll Loot. Don't care. Um, I'm just going to go with the first one. All right. So uh, let's do. Uh, what do we got, George saying? Do top option. Bottom option will probably be difficult. <laughs> difficult. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> never easy but yeah you're right it's probably more challenging yeah because i have to keep him alive right and it's like i i'm not the type of gear lock that i want to jump in front of him right maybe if i was playing picket i'd do that for sure he's more defensive uh okay so let's go the first one we'll do battle queue batty points uh we obviously don't care about reducing it i don't think what are we on day four hmm or do we no we don't care about that right now so four would be uh four one so we know the top one okay and then uh next will be at a five point baddie at the top of the queue which we don't know what it is all right and all baddies start with two fewer hp so the five is an owlbear oh no all right so he's going to number one slot starting with only four health and he's melee has inspire so we'll be inspiring the next guys and he's got that annoying terrify ability 
and he goes up four on the any track. Next is our troll youngin, uh, who comes in with uh, two health because uh, this is reduced, and he goes on melee, coming in for three on the any track. The next one, poison two bog frog, two health also melee slot three coming in at three on the initiative and the next one a griffin yearling coming in at no health so he's insta dead and the next one a mischief one careless on the back of plan goblin bomber coming in at one health uh, going in the four slot range or four lane range and he has five on the any track all right <laughs> Hey, Mel, how's it going? All right, uh, three. And uh, I'll start before those last two guys. And she will go. What does she want to do? So this jerk face goes first anyway. Can't do anything about that. Owlbear goes next. Four attack dice. I don't want to run into that yet. So chicken me is hiding down here. Looks to be the case. So I don't get hit by four attack dice right off the hop. Yeah. All right. Uh, so somewhere away from the Albert, bottom right. Yeah, it's George. Yes. Great minds. Great minds. Think alike. All right. Okay. Um, anything else to do here? I don't think so. All right. Round one. Mischief guy. Nothing to knock away for the mischief. Just rolls one attack die. Two. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. All right, four is the blue. Albert, one, two. All right. Uh, next, no attack on him. I will go. Uh huh. Oh, inspire, 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 inspire. One. Forgot about that. So next, this guy, the purple guy, will jump me, right? Go after, and he gets one extra attack die. So we'll make him go down here <laughs> in front of the owlbear. Uh, two attack, one defense. And of course this jerk rolls two attack. This is not good. I should look for some heal loot. Uh, okay. Um, and he got a bone, so careless happens, right? He's down to one health. All right, my turn. Uh, let's see, let's take all this stuff out of here. How do we want to do this? Man, I wish this guy rolled the bones. That would have been awesome. Kill himself, but got it lucky too. Um, poison guy I don't have to worry about yet. Owlbear won't get to me yet. This careless guy will keep getting inspired though. Owlbear. I think I just attack range on the owlbear and hope I get some defense. Ugh. Okay, so one defense. Or is there some way I can just run? Yeah, I don't want this poison too from the bog frog. Like, I could run after this guy and kill him, but then I still get poisoned. Yes, I would still get poisoned. And then this guy would be attacked by him. Owlbear, he still wouldn't get me from there though. Is there a way? Hmm. I think I range attack on this guy. Yeah. Uh, kill the ranged one and defense. You can kill the owlbear next turn. True. Very true. Yeah. Because he'll hit me no matter where I am. So that's a good call. He only has one health. That's why, like, I might as well not waste any sling stones then, right? Just roll this. Um, and roll one defense, kind of a sad turn, but, uh, yeah, we'll just go range on this guy. So I got a defense, got the one attack. I kill this guy. Uh, four and four is out. Okay. Um, and that is me. Uh, bog frog one, two. <laughs> get in front of the owlbear or 
Do I leave the owlbear able to come in? No, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't inspire. Oh, he inspires this guy, though. Uh, what should I do? I should leave it open, right? One, two. He'll just come across the top. Yeah. All right. Ran round two. Four. This guy will go one, two. Oh, he still inspires this guy no matter what. Yeah. Well, let's do what I was thinking. I think. All right. So then this guy would go one, two. <laughs> right? Albert won't be able to attack you round two. Yeah. Uh, he won't be able to attack me for a lot of rounds. This is the way we play it. Uh, okay. So then he'll inspire this guy, which will roll two. Oh, this is so bad. It's going to roll two attack, one defense. Okay. So we got a bone, careless. But I think he attacks first. Yeah. He deals attack, uh, which knocks away my shield, then careless, uh, which will kill him. Uh, take him out. Okay. And then uh, my go. So let's do. Okay, I have five decks, so I could, this guy, I could just worry about him right now. Oh, but he'll get, he'll get inspired too. One, two, three, so that'd leave me with two decks. I could then fire on this guy. Yeah, let's fire on the frog uh, and roll a defense die. Or do we, yeah, that's the only place I can go to get away from the bog frog. So let's just fire on the bog frog uh, for one. I got a bone. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, then the frog will go. So it'll go like this. Round three. Oh, the frog's going to get me anyway. All right, he's going to get me with the stupid Inspire. And the poison. Uh, right? He will attack die and then poison to me right here. I think I didn't think that through. Let's rewind. So if we went back round to uh, here, instead, yeah, probably the stupid inspire and the attack dice, the poison, because he would get to jump me in the any meter. So I have to basically fight the frog twice. Uh, so I should stay where I am, and then I should just use as much range with some stones. Do I try to take out the owl bear or just the frog? Let's roll these. Let's, so we didn't roll this. So we'll do five decks. Um, and we'll do, let's do one attack die. And use one stone on the frog. Or do we use two stones? No, let's just do, yeah, but could miss. Yeah, let's use two stones. We'll do another attack die. So that's my five decks on the frog. Yeah, let's do it on the frog. It's a better route to go. Uh, okay, so I get a defense. I'm not going to use my dagger. Uh, and then I will hit him for three. And that would kill him. So then I don't have to worry about... Uh, oops. I don't have to worry about that. Uh, the whole Inspire thing off this guy. All right, uh, he's gone. Round three now. All right, move my stuff around here. Uh, this guy will go. Uh, one, two. I will go. Mm. Still only two health. One defense die. That's not enough. 
And then terrify is even if I'm a ranged attack on him, just anytime I attack him, right? I think I gotta kite this guy, run around the board. Uh, where is it? Terrify. After this unit is attacked, place a terrify effect die on the attacking unit until the end of its turn. If that unit has a terrify attack die on it at the start of its turn, it may not target any baddies with the skill terrify. Yeah, one, one stone should have been enough, George, but I just don't want to risk it. And yeah. I mean, I won't roll back dice rolls like that, but yeah, just that was a bad, bad move. I forgot about the stupid inspired jump uh, on, on the mini meter there. Okay. Uh, I am going to see now I wish I had more stones <laughs> all right let's go uh, one two so I have three decks left let's try to bleed this guy long blade and reroll defense die no, let's stone him. Let's throw an attack die in there. All right. So bleed's going to happen. Uh, where are you? Uh, is it on this one? Nope. It's on this one. Okay, so the start of turn, he'll take his turn, he'll take a damage. Uh, and then I got two other damage on him. So he's down to two health right now. I get terrified. So I can't attack him next turn. Uh, the dagger will get exhausted. And yeah. All right, so round four. Um, he will go, he'll lose one off the bleed. And I just have to like run from him, right? Uh, one, two. Yeah, and then I'll go, I can't attack him. So I'll just stay there. Uh, I'll just reroll this defense dice. Maybe try to get a stone out of it. Nope, one defense. Okay, uh, round five. He will go and just bleed out off the wound uh, okay interesting another close one uh, two health left I gotta reset this to round one take that back okay yeah I better save this sorry <laughs> okay uh, all right let's go with uh, reward phase Okay, so two loot. So I think with her innate, I'll do I'll do the one, but I get two for it, right? Ooh, merchants will get you a trove loot. All right, I'll take trove loot if it, if it comes that way. But I mean, this Oga herbs is pretty juicy too. Some extra healing in battle. Yeah, let's have some fun. We'll take the gem. And then the next one. Uh, oh, I get three loot off this. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> uh, reflex powder reroll any one die on your turn including training lock picking and uh, I'll just take the heal off the Zelfie seeds heal any gear lock for two and then the last loot fortunate discovery man that's good for getting my sling stones jacked yeah let's do that all right uh, and we'll get a progress going up to five and, uh, one training point. So three, four, five, six. I think I want to take a defense or try for a defense. Uh, I got it. And where's her? And then next I'll jack up decks a bit more. I just need the option to be rolling more defense dice when I start away from the unit and I don't have sling stones. I need, I need to be able to prep up. All right. I think I got everything on that card. Um, recovery phase. So I'll pop this fortune discovery. Set my sling stones to five. I'll chuck this Tawarian gem. 
Let's get a trove loot to replace this. And this is the trove loot we got. Um, and then the heal and the distraction. So let's try lockpicking and temple on the trove loot. Uh, and it's a 4-2-2. Two, two. So we're going on four lever here. Um, I could change this one and, and then spend these two to open it. Let's get a lever part. You know what? I'll just reroll my first attempt here. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I'll do a plus one and save. Uh, so this becomes four lever. So I'll just throw a coin on it to show I unlocked the first one. Okay. So I get to save that. So I get to use it on the next one. So we're looking for two trip. Uh, that's two trip right there. Okay. So we'll unlock the second one. Uh, and then I'll roll these last ones trying for two force. Uh, hmm. Nope, didn't get it. <laughs> okay, so that's fine, that's fine. We'll save those for later. Okay, so we got two unlocked, uh, and that's it for the recovery phase. On to day five. Um, and we're going to uh, next encounter. Come on. Uh, sorry to grab those sometimes. A dire situation. My desire to sleep is clashing with my fear to be eaten by wolves. These torches only burn for so long. Must stay awake. Ow. Uh, jolted from my involuntary slumber, my sleep gear becomes a tornado of chaos as I scramble from under my blanket. A few dying embers flicker weakly in the expiring fire, giving just enough light to see nothing at all. I look up to find some moonlight through the trees, but my view of the night sky is suddenly eclipsed by the evil glow of two huge yellow eyes. As I slowly stand, my stomach turns as I realize I'm still only half the beast's size at best. I desperately fumble throughout uh, my through my belt for a weapon that's not there. And this dire wolf looks hungry. Awesome. Awesome. So we're going to do this. Okay, uh, so choice one, battle. Choice two is battle. So I must find my weapon. Battle queue, one point and a five point wolf. Cannot use skill dice for the first two rounds of battle. Well, that's no fun. Second one, I must find my pack. Battle queue is a one point and a five point wolf. So the same. And then can only use skill dice for the first two rounds of battle. <laughs> oh, you piece of crap. Uh, <laughs> so I love these skill dice. But I do roll three attack, two defense, and only have five decks. So it's not the worst. I think the first one where I don't get to use skill dice for the first round. Although these dice are so good to start with. I think I go for the second option. Can only use skill dice for the first two rounds of battle. Because then I'll just I'll roll these quick, get them active right away. One's gonna get exhausted anyway, and the other one. Yeah, I'll use it for two rounds. No big deal. All right, so option number two. Uh, okay, so a one point and a five point wolf. So let's start looking through the queue here for a one point wolf. Uh, there we go. We got a lashback pup. So we're going to shuffle the rest. Make our active stack again. And let's start searching for a five point wolf. Oh, that guy's gross. Oh, right there. Dire wolf. Cut it. Okay. Alright, so five point goes on the one. Uh, so we'll lash back on the dire wolf. Uh, I get six health. Uh, that's a little gross. Melee and the little guy. Uh, I was gonna go. Oops, what am I doing? Lean two, little guy, three. Okay, um, and four on the blue, and three on the purple, and I think we're good to go there. Um, actually, let's try to leave this out here to remind myself that I can only use skill dice to reverse two rounds. All right, let's see where I start. Uh, four, nice, beautiful. Uh, oh yeah. Did I screw up and not heal back up? 
Yes, I did. That should have happened in the recovery phase, of course. Yeah, because I didn't search for Trove Loot. I didn't um, better Trove Loot. I didn't scout. What was the other thing? Trading Loot? No. Yeah, rest and recover. Duh. Yeah, lock picking isn't one of the three options. Yeah, that was okay. Yeah, yeah. So recovery. Forgot to do that. All right. Uh, so I'm at six health. So I'm going first. Interesting. I just try to smoke this guy up here. Or do I hide like a chicken? And... One, two... Yeah, I think I had like a chicken, and then I just used skill dice to try to put some hits on the big guy without him lashing me back because I'm not adjacent, and I could bleed him, which would be nice. And I could sling stone him too. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, uh, so first round, I'll go first. I'll spend one sling stone. Where is the four? Okay, so I get to roll... Two defense, these two, and I'll roll one attack with the sling stone. Uh, yeah, I totally forgot the healing. Duster. Yes, you get to heal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I totally forgot. I'm being a dummy. I'm trying to, like, kind of play quickly, but then, like, obviously I'm making mistakes doing that. Uh, okay. Let's do uh, ranged on the big dire wolf. Uh, rolling all this business. Yes, that is five. Yep. Okay, I see lots of bones. Almost too many bones. <laughs> so that was a one. All right, so what do we got here? Uh, we'll deal one damage with this bleed die, and we'll throw a bleed effect on him. Whoops. Bleed effect die. Okay, and then we'll do two more damage uh, with those, taking them down to three. Uh, so this one's exhausted. This one goes back and the attack is gone. No defense though. Ugh. That's fine. All right. Let's do... Um, he will go. Uh, lose one from the bleed. And one, two. Purple guy. One, two. Uh, An attack for one. Uh, goes through, of course, and on defense. All right, um, and then round two, I will go. Uh, let's just, I mean, this guy will lose one. Won't be able to attack me right now unless I kill this pup. Or I just do a range shot on this guy. With that time for sure. Okay. So let's avoid the lash back from this guy. I'm going to roll two defense dice and my long blade, which can be a ranged attack on this guy. So worst case, it'll take away one. He dies on his next bleed and he's gone. And I'm okay taking hits from this guy. All right, so another bone. Uh, defense and the attack I needed on him. Okay. Uh, now, do I do... Yeah, let's pop one for a stone. Go back up to five. Okay. Uh, this guy will go and just bleed out. Flash back. Two. Uh, this, this, that. Long range. I took a timeout for your channel. Great stuff. Splinter Rad, thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Uh, all right. So then, Purple Gal go. Uh, he's going to roll the little, little Dire Wolf Pup, roll one attack on me, uh, or one attack die. He does hit for one, uh, but I get blocked with the defense. Okay, uh, then round three. All right, so let's just uh, pound the crap out of this little Dire Wolf Pup, I think. Yes, so it should be slid over. Uh, he needs three to die, so let's go big. Three attack dice. Long blade, one defense die. That's my five decks. Here we go. Did I get it? Yep, I got four attack, one defense. Uh, so before applying my attacks, I will just revitalize. 
pop this for a two heal, right? Right, two heal on Nugget's little heal. Yeah, two HP, but she only needs one. So she'll still go to full health. Then apply the attacks. I don't get lash back because he's dead. Okay, that's gone. This comes back. Uh, she comes back, that goes there. Round one, reset. That comes back, that goes away. Did I get it all? Yeah, let's get these out of here. All right, uh, so we did that. Oh wait, did I use skill dice too many rounds? What was that just at, round three? But I think I rolled enough attack anyway that that die wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, I had enough attack. Yeah, I'm a cheater. I definitely rolled that skill die when I shouldn't have, I think. I think it was on round three, right? Was I? No, maybe I wasn't. No, I was. I'm pretty sure. Either way. All right. Uh, one progress. Trove loot. Or an eight will let me get two. Um, pick one. Ooh, raider armor, you say. Raider armor. Or a fortunate discovery to pop sling stones up again. No, you know what? Uh, that's the thing. Raider armor, though. I like rolling bones with her because then she gets her stones and revitalize. But then... Oh, this is heavy, too. Then I gotta trash this two health. I gotta trash this flare distraction. And who knows what my trove loot is? That could be heavy also. Uh you know what? It's gonna be weird. Raider armor is amazing. But I think I'm gonna have some fun and see what my trove loot is. So I'll just toss that, take the fortune discovery, which I can toss away. To get this up if needed. I mean, I might have to lose it anyway. Oh, that's rough. Uh, okay. Uh, so, yes. Two training points. All right. Let's go dex for sure. Up to six. So, what I got three here. Two here. That's five there. Plus this. Oh, Nugget Stagger's in the wrong spot. And the other one, I will take... Hmm... I think I'm going to take Tinkered Bolo. Let's get that option on the table. Just going to try to nullify some attack dice for some move on guys. Or maybe their defense dice. Actually, let me look at the Goblin King. I want, I want to do this guy. I don't think he has anything crazy that... It's 9 health. 3 defense. Well, the bleed die is going to help on this guy. Hmm. Hmm. Defense might be good. Health should be good. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Yeah, reducing his defense would be awesome. Or his attack on the boss fight would be great. All right. Uh, that is my two training points. Got my progress. Got my loot. Uh, recovery phase. Uh, so let's try... Let's try on the trove loot. Another lock picking attempt. We just need two force. And let's re roll the whole thing. <laughs> okay, so we got it here. Uh, right, force. Yeah, plus one and safe. So that's enough to unlock it. Okay, so let's get the trove loot unlocked. And it is. Drum roll. Flash arrows. Permanent. Not heavy. Sweet. Backup plane extension. Two bones. Steal your target's active defense dice and place them on your active slots. <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. All right. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. I'm actually going to put that one on the top here so I remember it near the backup plan, kind of. Okay. Uh, next is... That is recovery. Uh, I already have full health. Do I try to search for better loot? I don't think so. I'll have some fun with what I have. Um, I guess it's scout time. Not that I think it really helps too much. Uh, what? Let's see what we get. Uh, lash back one direwolf pup again. Let's just keep him up front. He is pretty harmless. Uh, okay. On to day six. All right, let's double check. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, day six. 
There it is Tyrant Encounter. Care Package. When you find boxes in the middle of the road in Daylor, always exercise caution. These three were made to look like they contain valuable supplies. Probably a trap. Uh, instinct calls for scouting the perimeter before arriving back in front of the crates. Carefully. Opening the first two. It's surprising to actually find some items of value. The third box, forever, has an unmistakable goblin odor seeping through the rough, rough hewn wood. The fact that goblins love dangerous pranks and that this could be one of them is fully confirmed when the paint on the lid is revealed, reading, Regards from the Goblin King. Oops. All right. Uh, combat or combat? I draw the line at smelly boxes with the goblin heads on them. Ignore that box. The decision is made to leave while ahead. Battle cue, baddie points. Or attempt to disarm. Each party member must name a lock type, lever, trip, or force, and reach a three of that type by making a lockpick attempt. If successful, the box is disarmed, and the bomb inside can be used later to destroy the Goblin King's throne instantly at the start of the battle. If unsuccessful, each party member removes two HP before the start of the battle, and then has to fight battle cube baddie points, which I'm on to a six, so that would be a five and a one. Hmm, I could reduce it. Could reduce it. Mm, no, I'd like to save that, but I mean, I'm getting close here. What am I at? I need two progress. I'll get one here if I do this. I might as well just use the flare distraction because I'm going to get loot anyway. I got to get rid of something. Uh, so it'd be, I'd reduce it from six to three. So it'd be three one pointers. Yeah, well, let's do this one. We'll kind of gear it in our favor here. So I'm going to use Flare Distraction. Uh, before facing a battle encounter with Battle Cube Body Points, reduce it by three. So that reduces it down to three. So each party member, name a lock type. Uh, what do we have a good shot at there? I think we did good on Trip. Let's try Trip. Okay, we're trying for three Trip. If we get the three Trip, uh, we get to get rid of his throne in the boss battle. Uh, all right, I'll reroll on that attempt. So you get to retry on the first attempt always. Uh, there it is. Three trip. Here we got it. All right. So uh, we get to save this thing and blow up the chair. Place this card in a gear locks loot area. So see, I have to lose the loot anyway. So this takes up a loot, right? Uh, okay. So flare distraction's gone. Let's do the first three, and I don't lose two HP, so that's perfect. All right, so Lashback Pup, uh, going in slot one. The next guy, Thick Skin Troll Romper, three health, going in lane two, melee. Uh, first guy's three, second guy's two, and the last one, little bog pole, uh, going in lane three, ranged, three health. And goes at three also. Goes under that guy. Uh, round one. All right, let's find out where I go here. Four. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> All right, who do we want to smash? I think I want to get rid of the poison one guy. Well, let's do this. All right. Is there any reason? Wouldn't want to be there. Nah, I don't care about these guys. We're fine. All right. Um, any reason? All right. So let's go. Uh, first is me. I'll move up one. I'm going to try to take out this guy. Uh, so I only have five decks left because I moved one. So let's do three attack. Uh, this thing. And one defense. Or do I, now nah, let's do two defense. Yes, that's what we'll use. So on the bog pole, uh, wow, bones all day. Uh, so I did get the three I need to defeat him, at least. Uh, so he's gone. Uh, three, and bog pole, gone. All right, uh, and then bones all around. So three bones. All right, and with the three bones, what do we want to do here? Uh, do we do a backup plan right now? I don't need to heal up. 
I don't need stones, so let's just save it. Maybe we'll get, maybe we'll get her innate. I mean, it's kind of late in the game. So it doesn't really matter too much. She's already at the top of the animator, so the five backup plan is useless. Add a disable effect die to any adjacent five point or less baddie. I mean, whatever. <laughs> All right, we'll see what happens. I think I could just use it to do some revitalize and make sure I leave the battle with uh, any lost health. Okay. Uh, it just sucks I didn't get a defense on her. Uh, okay, so this guy will go. Uh, roll one attack die from the pup for one. Okay. Uh, this guy will go one, two. Oh, there's no defense to roll. Uh, round two. I will go first. I oh, mean, knocking these dice all over the place. Um, yeah, I think I'll just try to take out the pup, I guess. Uh, let's do the two defense again. And let's do three attack. Let me grab all these extra dice. So there we go. That's what we're rolling. All right. So we got enough attack to blow this dog across the map. Uh, but we did get some defense finally. Yeah, we're, we got this one. This is easy peasy. Flare distraction for the win. Uh, so this guy's gone. No lash back. Okay, and uh, I'm a thick skin guy. Sweep him up. He's gonna roll one attack on me. Uh, one die goes away for defense. Round three, I will go. Uh, let's try to hammer this guy good. Um, yeah. So let's go three attack. The um, long blade. And we'll roll one defense die. Yeah. All right. So I got two, three, four, five attack, one defense. Uh, so he only needs four to get through his thick skin and kill him. So before that, I will just pop the two and revitalize up to full health. So I get the one back. This will slide down. Uh, then I'll apply my attack dice, kill him. All right, easy peasy. Okay, reset this to round one. And get my attack dice out of there. Defense dice, bones go away. I think we're all reset here. Yep, okay. Uh, where's the card? What did I do with it? Oh, it's this card, duh. <laughs> like I already put in my loot. Uh, okay. So we get one progress. Uh, tr loot. Tattered map. At the start of a new day, draw an additional encounter card. Choose one and place the other on the bottom of your encounter deck. That is crazy. Another fortune discovery. Uh-huh. So I don't need to be adjacent to hit the Goblin King, just his throne, but we're going to blow up his throne anyway. His throne will only take damage from adjacent opposing units. It must be destroyed. The Goblin King's defense doesn't apply. Yeah, okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to toss the Zelfie Seeds, toss the Tatter Map. We'll take another Fortunate Discovery, and we'll just be able to sling stone the crap out of the next battle. And then we'll should be able to at least have one of these left to pop it uh, in, in the same battle or even in the ty tyrant battle to hit him range style after he knocks us across the map. Um, right, is that the guy with the boom thing? Nope, nope. Oh, the kaboom, yeah, kaboom. Blast all gear locks to positions farthest from the Goblin King, which my range would be very good in that situation. So let's think about the sling zones. That's my thought process there. Uh, okay, and then reward, I think we're done. Oh, training point, training point, training point, training point. Let's go up a health to seven. Okay, now, um, don't need to recover. 
scout. Yeah, let's scout to uh, look at a one pointer. Troll brute. Uh, he's fine. We'll leave him at the top. Okay. Um, day seven. Uh, let's see what we get for day seven. Uh, risky payoff. The Ebon, evil as they are, still show a strange cross-species loyalty. Trolls won't hesitate to call for help from an orc, a kobold, or even bog scum. A fight may look winnable, but it's often not worth the risk. Lucky for me, creatures of the Ebon almost always have a price. I wonder if the menacing figure ambling towards me can simply be bribed with something shiny in exchange for safe passage. Unfortunately, if he has friends hiding in those bushes, they might be waiting to take a whole lot more than a shiny object. All right, so we got here, stand your ground and fight. We can do battle cube batty points. At the end of rounds three and five, roll a d6. Then we would add a, on a one to three, we'd add a one point batty at the bottom of the battle queue. And four to six, no baddies would join. Get a training point and a loot out of that one. I feel like we don't really need loot though. But I mean, if I pop a fortunate discovery to make sure we win this by using extra sling stones, then I'll have a space for extra loot. Or the other one is non-combat option. Get a training point out of that maybe a peace offering is worth a shot if you have loot to offer choose one and place it on the battle mat then you roll a d6 on a one to three the loot is taken but the baddie is not satisfied make an encounter choice again four to six so it's 50 50 on the die the loot is taken and the baddie leaves no battle today <laughs> uh, so we could skip the battle by throwing in fortunate discovery into there and rolling on a 50 50 shot I could lose it and still have to have a battle. No, let's do the battle. Let's just go with the first option. Okay, so battle cues, batty points. We're on day seven. So we're gonna get a five and two ones. We know one of them is a troll brute. Okay. And rounds three to five, we'd roll the d6. So let's not get that far, hopefully. All right, so let's set it up. Oh, damn, Griffin Howlers. It was fly away and make the battle take longer. <laughs> yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully I get a better initiative than him, but that's gonna be rare. Uh, okay, then we will go with the troll. Uh, who gets three health? He's got thick skin and careless. Going in lane two, melee. He's going nice and slow at one. And then in lane three, we have a uh, good old clay golem. Classic. Five health. All melee all day. All right. This guy's going to go at two. All right. Where am I going? Five. Yes. All right. Lucky today, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, sometimes I play it's like threes and twos all the whole playthrough, and sometimes it's like fours and fives the whole playthrough. It's like any gear lock, you just get like lucky sometimes, or really unlucky. Uh, okay, so I will start. I mean, I want to smash this guy right away. He's gonna signal one, too. Maybe I can take him out right off the hop here. So let's try that. All right. Six decks. Let's smash this guy. So we are going to try to bleed him. We're going to try to long bleed him. We're going to roll three attack dice on him. So what do we need him for? Five? It's possible here. Or four with a bleed would work too. And then we can roll one defense. Or I can nerf his attack just in case. I think I have to roll some defense. I might get not a nerf, might get a move or defense. Like, yeah, I won't get lucky on that. So let's just roll a defense die for the six. All right, Griffin Howler. Let's kill him. Did I get it? Did I get it? All right, let's see here. Uh, so I will apply the one damage and bleed. Okay. Just, uh, where is it? Right here. And then what does he have left? Four? Did I get four? Oh, I did. I did, I did. I didn't think I did, but I did. Should have looked at all the dice first. So then the other four damage, that kills him. So I had to use this dice. Uh, where is it? This is exhausted. Um, so five point bad, he's done. You're done, son. All right, 
uh, blues out of there. Okay, uh, and two bones. Uh, then we're gonna have, uh, do I do anything with those two bones? No, I'm good, all right. We're gonna have Clay Golem come down. He'll roll one attack time. Hits me for one, I take one. Then this thick skin guy is gonna come down, roll one attack, one defense. Uh, careless happens, uh, he does attack first though. Okay, so we'll each lose one in that exchange. Okay, uh, round two. Uh, I guess I'll go after the thick skin careless guy. Uh, let's roll two defense dice, three attack, and a long blade on thick skin careless guy. All right, bones for days. So I'm up to five in my backup plan. Uh, one defense, and we get two attack, but thick skin blocks one. So only one gets through, he's still got one health. Uh, that sucks. But. Yeah, I mean, I don't see a reason. What do I do here? I don't care about the extra loot. I could just do a disable die to get rid of his break, but I mean, that's not the big deal. And does it, ha it has to be my target though, right? No, to any adjacent baddie. Okay, let's do that. Let's just spend four. On the backup plan, go down to one uh, and disable this guy. Oh, yeah, this guy. So he loses his break. Okay. So no more skills. No more skills. Okay. Then uh, that was me. Yes. Then he will go. Oh, one attack on me. Uh, defense die will block it. Uh, thick skin careless. Troll brute will go. Oh, another careless. So he does attack for one though. And then backup plan will apply and careless kills himself. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Uh, now, round three. So what is that, the end of round three? End of round three, we'll do the baddie roll die thing. So we gotta kill this guy now, if we can. All right, so we're gonna roll three attack. We're gonna roll this die. We're gonna roll two defense. Hope to hit him for five. Yeah, who knows? I doubt it, but. Oh, I got it too. <laughs> so three ones on the attack die and a two on the uh, long blade. So let's do our backup plan first. And let's pop two for revitalize. We'll heal up to six. Oh, I need one more to be full. That's okay. Full on stones anyway. So this guy's dead. And that's gone. That is gone. He is there. I'll go back. And we don't get to the end of the round, so we don't have to worry about rolling dice and bringing other baddies in. So that is good. She'll come back with one health short. Uh, let's do this up here. That will go away. This is gone. All right. Um, reward phase. So what did we do? We did the top one, right? Uh, so a loot. Yeah, see, I never use the stupid fortune discovery. So let's do loot. Mech tool. I don't care about lock picking right now. Heal yourself one HP at the start of each round during battle. I mean, that's kind of cool during the boss battle, right? but I have to wait till my turn on the first round to use it. So then it doesn't start healing me till the next round. But that might be better than a fortune discovery right now. Scrambler, what's our scrambler die? Oh, that's just for lock picking. And the gem decoy, I know that just like kind of stalls a baddie, but we're okay there. Yeah, so I'll just toss these ones away. Take a Zelfie root. Okay, um, then the progress we need to fight the Goblin King next, and two training points. 
All right, what do we need for this guy? What should we do? I'm thinking I'm going for an attack and a dex. That's what I'm thinking. Let's try on the first training point, three attack dice. And I get it. Sweet. Okay. Uh, then I'll take a dex to seven, I think. Four, two. Yeah, I think so. So we can move around the map. Health might have been good, but I'll play the risk of just healing with this thing. Hopefully will help. Okay, so this is done. So we got enough progress, red eight. Um, recovery phase. I will heal that one last health I need. I'm not gonna look for different loots. Um, don't wanna scout, don't care. All right, tyrant battle, let's do it. Uh, day eight, right? Four, five, six, seven. Yep, we're on day eight. All right, let's do this Goblin King. Game of Throne! Set up a throne on lane one, but hold on. We've got this bomb thing. Uh, if successful, the box is disarmed, and the bomb inside can be used later to destroy the Goblin King's throne instantly at the start of battle. Well, I'll set up first, and then we'll blow it up. Whatever. Set up a throne on lane one. Range position. Using lane one marker and three HP. Okay, place the Goblin King and his HP. Where's this Joker? Up here. And his HP is nine. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. <laughs> Get up on his throne. Uh, we ignore the bad accused. Party one ignores this. Throne will only take damage from adjacent. We don't care about that. The Goblin King's defense dice do not protect the throne. And the Goblin King is the Goblin King cannot damage himself. All right. So uh, he goes at five. Okay, where am I going? Three. Womp womp. That's okay. All right. I will start. Right here, let's dance. It's gonna run up on him. Okay. Start a battle. Blow up the throne. Boom. I'll just put this chip underneath him here. Okay, throne's blown up. This is gone. Doesn't seem to have to discard this, but I will, whatever. Okay. He will go, so he is ranged, two attack, three defense, and a stupid tyrant eye. All right, what did he get here? So what is the order again? It's like they attack first, or no, skills. After they'd move, skills happen, boom. That's already happening. Uh, so he'll attack me for one. Okay, one, down to six. Uh, he gets a bone, so that's kaboom. Blast all gear locks to positions farthest from the Goblin King. Happens before applying damage. Oh, whatever. Uh, okay, so I'm here. Uh, so that's the backup plan. And he gets three defense. Okay. And then he gets the three bomb thing, which is careless bomb, deal three damage to the strongest baddie, which is him. Or he's a tyrant. Are tyrants baddies and baddies tyrants? That I don't know. That I don't know. Can we find that out? Yeah, I'm trying to see here. If you guys know... Oh, tyrants are baddies. Okay, thanks, George. I didn't know you're still here. Uh, okay, so he's a baddie. That's what I thought. I thought for sure. Um, all right. So he's the strongest, right? Deals three damage to himself. But the defense dice would protect that and go away. Or no, that's only from attack, right? This is not an attack. It's his tyrant die, which is kind of like a skill. So you take the three damage... 
No. This will block it, right? I'm here trying to multitask. Sorry, George. It says he cannot damage himself, though. Ah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, cannot damage himself. Thank you, Diane. Super helpful. All right. Yeah, so no bomb. Doesn't hit him. We're good. Doesn't have to do anything, right? So we'll just throw it to the side. Still has three defense on. Oh, boy. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. Uh, and he's done his turn. I've done all his dice, right? So he's good. My turn. I will pop this Zelfie root. So heal yourself for one HP at the start of each round during battle. And discard after the battle. Uh, I'll put that here to hopefully remind myself. Okay. Um, now, how do I want to do this? I think I'm popping four of my sling stones down to one. Try to find the one. So four attack dice I can use with my sling stones at range. I will then... What, I have seven... I just go crazy and throw all my skills in there too? I think so. He rolls what? Two attack dice on me? Yeah, two attack. No defense. Okay, I'll use one less sling stone. No, let's use two less sling stones. And we'll just use two defense. <laughs> I'll chicken out a little bit. Uh, all right, so seven dice, right? Yeah, okay. I gotta remember this backup plane extension too, right? I can steal his active defense dice and put him in my active slots. If I get that. <laughs> All right. So what do we got here? Let's just throw the three bones. So good thing switching those defense. They do nothing for me but bones. <laughs> really wish I took that Raider armor now. <laughs> okay. So, uh... I can prevent his movement, but I won't do that because that's useless. Uh, let's do one damage on him. I'll exhaust this die. So one damage, which knocks away a defense and puts a bleed on him. Okay. Uh, then we will do three attack. So two defense dice get knocked away and one gets through only. Man. Uh, backup plan. Let's... Oh, I should have done the backup plan first. Wow, I was just talking about it. Way out of order. Okay. Let's put these back. So before the bleed, okay, before this, and before the three attack, we will use a backup plan to steal his active defense dice and place them in our slot. <laughs> Then we will put the bleed on him and do one damage, which will be that chip we took away. Then three attack. Now he's down to five health. That feels better. Order of operation, I'm telling you. It's huge. Huge difference. This is exhausting. Okay. We're good? We're good? I think we're good. All right. So he's now going to bleed on. Yes, flash arrows for the win. All right. Who needs to roll defense dice yourself when you can steal them? Okay, so round two, his turn. He will lose one at the start of his turn from the bleed, down to four health. Um, now he's gonna roll his tyrant die, two attack, and now he's gonna roll three defense again though. But that is okay. All right, all right, let's do this. Okay, he got the bomb thing again. Let's see here. So, he got the book kaboom. So, I'm already farthest away. He'll get some defense. Then he will... What was the boom thing? Deal. Yeah, so he won't deal damage himself. So, that's like a miss. I like that. He's not calling in his buddies. Then two attack on me, though, which will knock away two dice out of my active slot. Yeah. Start of my turn. I will heal up one if I can. Yep. Thanks to my Zelfie root. Okay. And then uh, spend. Can only roll one defense. So let's roll that one defense. Uh, let's spend three stones. 
Roll three attack dice. And we'll roll these two, so that's six. Do I just re-roll this one? Yeah, let's just re-roll that one. All right, seven. Three of them were sling stone. I think we're good. All right, so we can reduce his attack die by one. We will take a bonus. We will, oh man, I think he's gonna die right here. I can hit for six. So I will backup plan extension, steal his defense dice again, and do six damage, which destroys him. Boom. Yeah, everything under control. <laughs> uh sorry rob seem to have everything out of control so i'm doing something else while also listening hey george you don't have to fully pay attention to me nobody does i'm okay with that uh you, you got you got young in at home that's a, a handful i'm sure if that's uh, what it is but i will watch the video properly at my leisure over the weekend yes awesome thanks diane congrats she says i meant everything under control <laughs> awesome <laughs> parent life right uh okay so that's it that's the play uh we did it um yeah, so I like Nugget. I think Nugget's what I'm going to take through the Age of Tyranny campaign, which we'll do later on the channel. Uh, I think my wife's decided on Picket. We're just trying to find out if our buddy Justin, who played in our three-player playthrough, is going to be able to join us for some of those Age of Tyranny campaigns. But I think that's going to, what we're going to do next for Too Many Bones, is start Age of Tyranny, and then maybe we'll get Justin to jump in and show that whole the way you can have the jump in and jump out after each play. And we'll do a series of Age of Tyranny uh, coming up next. If not, uh, one more Too Many Bones maybe before that. Um, if we can get Justin here to practice once before that. Uh, but anyways, if you want to see more Too Many Bones or Cloud Spire or all the playthroughs and don't want to miss any of them, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you everyone for being here with me live through the struggles, the technical difficulties, and the goof-ups. Thank, help, help, thank you for help keeping me on track with everything and help answering questions so this playthrough went semi-smooth. Uh, but yeah, uh, this will be up on YouTube. I'll cut out for those who didn't watch the whole thing or joined in at the end. I'll try to cut out the intro and the technical problems, put it up as a nice, uh, more succinct video uh, to watch later and throw it in the Too Many Bones playlist with all their other playthroughs. Um, but that's it. If you want to donate to help support the channel, the link is in the description below. Also, thanks to everyone who subscribed during the stream. Uh, huge appreciation to that, uh, subscribing. It's free. It helps the channel grow. helps a lot. Anyways, that's it for me. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.